Good morning. I'm Jeannie Snedeker. I'm the Director of Christian Education, and I'd like to invite our children forward. Well, hey, guys. How are you? It might just be a little party today. How's everybody doing? First, I have to say congratulations. You are down to your last few days of school, aren't you? What a huge accomplishment. You think back over your school year, all that hard work you had to do to get through this grade? Yeah? And now you get to rest, but then you have to go on to another grade, another big accomplishment in front of you. Change can be scary, can't it? It can be very exciting. And you guys have a really big change. You're moving. We're going to miss you so much. But that's an exciting adventure, too. And it can be scary, can't it? If, if you're experiencing something scary or uncertain, is there a place you can think of that, that you might feel secure and safe and good? Where? My bed. Your bed. <laughs> In your house, yes. How about you, MJ? Do you have a place that makes you feel safe and secure? Room. Your room? How about you, Marie? Anything? No? Just home? Well, I have a couple places, too, and I'm going to share them with you, okay? <clears throat> My home also feels very secure to me. I feel loved, and I feel protected and secure there. I feel like I can be just me there, right? That's a great thing. This sanctuary, we've talked a little bit about sacred space, and that's kind of where we're headed. Um, very special places in our lives can be considered sacred spaces, right? And the sanctuary is one of those spaces where we can come and we can recharge, like plugging us into the wall. We can recharge ourselves spiritually and reconnect with God. And I brought a place. This is a picture. It doesn't look real, does it? But it is real, I promise. Where is it? Isn't that a pretty, pl isn't that a pretty place? I took this picture last year. This is a lake in the mountains that my family and I have gone to for lots of years. My kids are all grown up, but we've gone since they were small. And we go to have fun, absolutely. We have a lot of fun. We swim and we roast marshmallows and do things like that. But it has become a very sacred place for me. Because when I think about going to this place, I think, ah. I'm going to get to recharge, I'm going to rest, and I'm going to reconnect with what's important in my life. And that's with family, but it's also with God. And we know, boys and girls, that God is everywhere. God is with us all the time. But our lives can get pretty hectic sometimes, right? Our days are filled up with stuff we have to do. School, homework, grocery shopping with your mom and dad, um, baseball practice, music lessons, and those are all wonderful things. But when we get so busy, it can kind of crowd out the reality that God is still with us. God is inside us and around us all the time. So when we go to these special, sacred, safe, secure places, places that help us feel reconnected, we can ju do just that. We can reconnect with God, and we can remember God has been with me through this whole big, long school year, through every single school year and all of my tough times, right? God is with us in the wonderful days and in the not-so-wonderful days. God is with us when we remember and when we don't. Um, but when we reconnect with God in those sacred places, it reminds us of that truth, and it helps us to go forward into our future, with courage, and with confidence. So I know that when the next school year rolls around, when your new home and your new town come about for you, that you will be ready for those challenges. And I hope you'll take a little time this summer to find your sacred spaces and to reconnect with God. Okay? All right, let's say a prayer. God, you are our God of all days. Help us to remember that you walk with us and that you love us through every step of our lives. Help us to step forward into the future in the confidence that you go with us. Amen. All right, let's go.